Before we start the session, I would like to comment on the caricatures that were made of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in France. In the name of freedom of speech, President Macron promoted caricatures of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that were offensive to our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For years, France has demonized its Muslim minorities. And the murder of Samuel Paty was another opportunity that President Macron seized to advance his campaign against the Muslims. We Muslims, we need to rise to the occasion and defend our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and portray and promote his true treatings to the world, his true message to the world, and show the world who our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, really was. I understand we Muslims, we are angry, upset and sad. And we ought to be angry. Because if we don't, our Iman, it will be in question. But this emotion of anger and sadness, we need to channelize it in the right direction. I therefore suggest three important points. The first, I urge myself and all the brothers and sisters to present our best version of being Muslims and to be good practicing Muslims. Because whether or not, consciously or unconsciously, we are representing our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the Islamophobes, they think that the Prophet of Islam, he was like us. That's the reason they mock at us. Therefore, we Muslims, we need to grow and we need to increase our Iman. The second is that we need to respond to this in a logical and rational manner. We need to boycott all French products and services. The third, I request all brothers and sisters to read the translation of the glorious Quran and to read the biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, especially the non-Muslims. And in the same breath, I request President Macron to read the translation of the glorious Quran and to read the biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. To hate a person without knowing him, it is injustice. Rather, it is bigotry. And what shocks me in France is that the head of state, he says and he does certain things, but he does not realize that it is not only representing himself, but he is rather representing the whole country. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was a mercy to the entire humanity. In the name of freedom of speech, if insulting our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is correct, would the head of state agree with someone insulting him? Would the head of state agree with someone insulting his mother, with someone insulting his father? This is not freedom of speech. In freedom of speech, you cannot insult or hurt the sentiments of others. Non-Muslims, they have praised our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have the example of La Martin. He says that if greatness of purpose, smallness of means and astounding results are the three criteria to judge a man's genius, who can dare to compare himself to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But sadly, Mr. Macron, he has not understood this. Non-Muslims, they revered and respected our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.